Well, I think I've done it. I think I've found the UK's stupidest roundabout. I've traveled all over the UK. I've never come across a roundabout as stupid as the one I uh, did not long ago. And if you have found a stupid roundabout, do let me know in the comments. Um, this roundabout absolutely baffled me, not because of you know what, um, what I needed to do. I understood that, but the layout made absolutely no sense at all. So it's in a place called Chelmsford in Essex. And I was down there for my daughter's ballet exam not long ago. And I approached the roundabout and I'm giving this sign. So I'm, I'm taking the second exit, which takes me ahead. Um, so it is a head second exit. So it's two lanes. I remained in the left lane. And as I always do, I'm checking for some markings to see if it's okay. There was markings very quickly appeared saying that I can use either the left or the right hand lane. So I remained where I was in the left lane. If there was no markings would have meant exactly the same thing. Now, when I got to the roundabout, I had a very, very heavy flow of traffic. I seemed to be the only one in the left lane. Everyone else was in the right hand lane and it was very busy. And as I was queuing at the roundabout, I had a big HGV next to me, big HGV. And I looked ahead and I saw this. So I'm seeing these markings. Okay, now absolutely baffling. I have a solid white line at either end of the markings, which means I must not drive into that area. But on the side, it's a broken white line, so I shouldn't drive in it unless it's necessary, which means technically I can if I need drive into it. Now, I have to stress this area here is not wide enough for two cars, let alone me and a HGV. So essentially, I have to try and move on probably at the same time as the HGV and then merge into the right hand lane on the roundabout to then exit safely. Now, if you look, if I drive through those markings, there could be someone queuing here at the roundabout waiting to come on. That's why I mustn't drive through those markings. I've never seen anything like that. It is genuinely baffling. The, the weirdest thing is the roundabout before has the same layout, but makes a lot more sense because the left only uh, lane is present at that um, particular roundabout so of course after the first exit the left lane actually disappears because you must go left and that makes sense but I looked at that roundabout and I just thought I literally cannot do that that is really dangerous so I put a left signal on and I went left and 100 meters up the road was another roundabout where I turned around and then just came back and went the right way that I wanted to go. But how many people would have there just literally chinned it off and just tried to force their way onto that roundabout, you know? Um, roundabout regulations, you know, they state that there needs to be sufficient room for vehicles to exit as per the amount of lanes entering the roundabout. And that makes complete sense. And here, on the roundabout itself, there isn't room for the two lanes that can go ahead to actually both fit onto the roundabout. It's just absolutely baffling, it really is. If the left lane again was left only, that would make complete sense, but it's not, it mark, it's marked as you can go ahead. So yeah, I just, I look at that roundabout and I, all the locals obviously knew it because they were all in the right hand lane. I was the only one in the left lane. And that does spark the, the presence of the abnormal sort of feeling like, hang on, something's not right here. And obviously they all know about this peculiar marking and they all use the right hand lane. But um, yeah, for me personally, that's the stupidest roundabout I think I've ever come across. I love roundabouts and that is a really stupid one. If you do know of a more stupid one, please do let me know in the comments. Um, put a little Google pin in, whatever, um, just so I can see where it is. Love to have a little look. 